Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Plans vs. Zombies. I'm Nye. I'm Nico. I'm covered in wasps. So we're going to go ahead and continue with the main storyline for a little... Actually, you know what? That, right, that's that's what we were doing. We were doing mini-games, weren't we? But it's yeah, now is a good time to go back to the main story. Well, let's catch, up to the, let's catch up with the puzzles, because we haven't done puzzles yet. We can do main story once we catch up. Hmm. So let's go do Vase Breaker. So... I'm really bad at Vase Breaker. You'd already done Vase Breaker. We've done the storyline version. We oh, haven't done yes, the puzzle you're right, version. You're right. So let's get ourselves some stuff. Why here. do you use those immediately? Are you not supposed to? You can uh, you can click another vase to break it, and the plant's still there. True. Yep. They expire or wait to like say there's zombies coming to use it. It's a little hmm. more efficient. Oh, we lost these. Uh, I'll put that right there. Turns out to be a good idea. <laughs> Generally, I do those first to get a guaranteed uh, plant. That way, you know, I know I'm getting plants. Well, no, I mean using the plants only when you've got some zombies on the field. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. I know that's taken care of. Let's go ahead and toss one here and here. Okay. Why not? And we're done. There's our trophy. Zombie trophy. The most splatulent end. Yep. We've unlocked a new level for Vase Breaker. To the left. Sure. So you're saying... See, that's why I don't do that. Not quite. Middle one, then there you go. See, the reason why I don't like doing that, doing it that way, is that now I don't have anything to put there. There we go. Well, you, you did. You just... Okay, now I'm a little bit happier. Okay, that guy's gonna die. Not that one. Perfect. Let's drop you there. Excellent. Um, good. Okay. Spadow, indeed. So, easy. Yeah, that's why I like putting down those two first, though. That way I know what, like, what routes I can freely do. You know what you gotta work with, just to start with. Yeah. Like, this I'm a little bit concerned with, actually, because I have no way to stop him now. Hmm. So it's just this, uh, reverse pea shooter. Or reverse, uh, whatever this thing's called. Repeater. Repeater. But his helmet's going to fall off any time now. So it's not like a bad, bad thing, but it's just, you know, that's why I don't like doing that. But we're going to be fine. More money! And Unfortunately, another zombie trophy. And another zombie trophy. Unfortunately, I'm not getting the, um... I'm not getting a thousand for each of these. Huh. I'm only getting two fifty. We're getting 50? about 250. Oh, well, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, still a Let's toss that there. Fine. I'm trying to see if I can f if I can find a um. Your spectrum's about to fade. Yeah. That's what I was looking for, actually. <laughs> that is exactly what I was looking for, because I was trying to find him before uh before this thing's popped. But that's fine. I have the much or I have the uh. Guys, take at this all this out. There we go. Okay, I need another thing to. Why are you still up? Why are you still alive? There were two of them. There were two. Of... Oh crap! Yeah. Okay, that should. Why is that not making these guys turn around? Because I got him. I got him in time. Haha! <laughs> I live. I no, I live. didn't live. God damn it. Yep. The problem is that the first. The first. Uh... 
the first Hypno Shroom you put down only got one of his backup dancers. I know, but the backup dancer is usually strong enough to kill the main guy. <laughs> I, I wish. Okay, let's pop that. Excellent. Let's pop that. Awesome. Pop that. Okay, drop that there. Pop that guy. Drop that there. Uh, let's put you there. Wow. We're getting just the full setup here. This is kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> really? I like this setup. This setup is nice. Hmm. God, they're killing everything before it does anything. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm not complaining. There we go. And he's caught. Or will be in a second. Yep. Bye. Boy. Uh. Is he not? Get him. Thank you. These classic backup dancers are still not controlled. Oh, nope, they're all dead. Uh, doing a recording. What's up? We'll have in a bit. Hmm? We'll have in a bit. Doing recording. Sorry about that, folks. Well, that was bad. And one, two. Oh, it was you, mate. That's all. Okay. Well, we won that one. Mm-hmm. See, what I really, ideally, this is just going to give me a bunch of money. We'll be able to get that eighth slot before we start up the uh, storyline again. No, you won't. It's There's not enough puzzles left for that. Oh, okay, that's adventure. Okay, well. Okay, so now we're on Eye Zombie. This is a little bit different. Zombie. Zombies ask him to help them practice invading houses. As long as no plants were harmed. Okay. This is the one I like. Mm -hmm. I forgot they were uh, cardboard, apparently. <laughs> I think one of them, they're real or something? I don't know. Nope, they're all just cardboard cutouts. Mm. So the idea no, behind this I is I have to... I have to use a certain amount of sun to eat all the brains, but certain plants will have certain effects on me. So I'm given free... Uh, sun for every sunflower I kill and then um, but all the plants have their normal effects I think for this one you want a bucket head on the top row uh, okay so yeah tr tr I mean trans they look they look cardboard but they still do the right the same effects yeah yeah I thought when you said they were cardboard like you didn't have to deal with them but the problem is, this guy, this guy, and this guy will instant kill anything I throw at them. So I'm going mm -hmm. to, by the t I'm going to need enough sun in order to soak the loss immediately. You don't need to soak the loss to deal with them. Uh, you just want to send a normal zombie in for your first attack on them. Yep. Just like that. And I think a bucket head will do fine, just fine there. Uh, I think I can send a bucket head right there. Probably want to do a normal there. Okay, you'll kill him. A normal in the top row as well. No, it'll or... be killed before it gets through him. I've got to send a uh, heavy. No, a heavy wouldn't. A normal would have been killed by the uh, by the pea shooter. At point blank range, a single normal survives a pea shooter. You sure? Yeah. Hmm. Not that it matters. I mean, this was level one. Level one's easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll try level. that next time. Yeah. It's endless that I have problems. Endless, I tend to lose on the first, uh, on the like second or third uh, level. Yeah. I, I don't think okay. this has an endless. Yes, it does. I, won I wonder. Oh. Uh, I, I'm actually. I'm not sure. I want to wonder where he's getting the where he's getting the training brains. I blame gnomes. Hey, look, a thousand. It. They're they're just peach jello made with little evaporated milk. There you go. Hmm. It's not a real house either. I zombie two. Okay, so this is where problems start because now we have these assholes. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I want to start here. No, that's a waste of a screen. Alright. Normal guy wouldn't survive it. Because the screen door won't... Yeah, and, by and screen is... No, normal guy would have chewed through. A normal guy can survive one barrage from a single plant. Because uh, slow shrooms don't slow attacking, only movement. Hmm. 
or not shrooms. Uh, no, it slows attacking too. No, I'm almost certain it doesn't. I mean, we I can show you in a second, or well, we can test it. Is rather let's put it that way. Okay, screen door here. I mean, it doesn't do it to a screen door because he's protected. That's the point. But uh, I can see if I can show it to you on one of these upper guys. So you know, for the row above the one problem. you're working on, you're going to need a. I'm probably gonna need a hat for that one. I'll probably need a hat for both of these. Uh, I'd say a hat for the third row, but the second row should survive with only a screen door. Okay, well, let's test it. Notice how he's moving a lot slower. He's eating a lot slower. The, f the plant was flashing at the same rate. I don't think you're right, but you might be. This is a problem, though, because they're just sitting on these spike weeds. He's yeah. off, thankfully. Uh, we're going to want a bucket head for this round, for this one. Well, he's going to die, but I'll, I can send another screen door and we'll be fine. Excellent. Now yeah, it's just a matter of waiting. Sacrifice a full blown bucket head for that. Yeah, well, I mean, we made out with another 900 uh, sun just fine. So I don't think we had. I don't. I don't think there was any issue here. Mm -hmm. There's no points in this mode for having more. Uh, for having leftover sun. There is flexibil room for flexibility. Yep. Though I think on endless mode you carry sun over into future levels. Hmm. Don't quote me on that. But. Got a new eye zombie level. Can you dig it? So now Torchwood is a thing I have to deal with, though only on that row. And uh, we should be fine. So the question is, where? who do I want to send where? Now, do Torchwood affect zombies at close range? Torchwood doesn't do anything by itself. I might stick a uh, regular zombie on second from the bottom. Over here? Second from the bottom. Oh, yeah, here? Yeah, the Torchwood doesn't do anything. No, Torchwood doesn't do anything. What I'm concerned about, I can't remember if diggers can go under uh, spuds without damage. I don't think they can. I think spuds hit them. Um, yeah, because they're landmines. Uh, what you could try is in that row where the... The, uh, the row underneath where your zombie is right now... Yeah. Your best bet would be to attack from the front with a low rank zombie, I think. I don't think a low rank will get through. I don't think you'll even get through this. A digger will chew clean through the top rank. It can't do anything about a digger. Uh, this row could kill the digger with the spud sitting right there. Right, but the spud would come at the end. The digger burrows down and goes behind. That's what we're wondering. No, that's what yeah, we're I wondering think a digger gets hit the by the a rank. spud mine while underground. If it does, then it was just a very expensive normal zombie. Okay, but let's test it. Yep. So okay. you cannot dig under mines. But now I can do this. Okay, so that's taken care of. Uh, I think we want to use a digger here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, we're going to use a bucket head for this one. Why a bucket head? Because he's going to hit the spud. Uh, and he's gonna because the normal zombie wouldn't have killed the first rank thing before it died. No, it would have. It's only two pea shooters. At point blank range, two pea shooters over four panels, it's just not enough. Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, it's not like you're stun starved. But we'll, we'll, we'll test it in the future, I'm sure. He has, a, he has a sufficient supply of vitamin... What is it, D? Okay, and now we just have to get the rest of the brains eaten. Which, unfortunately, we have to wait for. <laughs> but we did gain another... That's another 3,000 uh, monies for just the eye zombie. And mm -hmm. uh, all of the vase breakers gave me an additional 250 each. So that's gotten me a lot closer to my 8th slot. Excellent. So we'll only need to complete maybe 2, 3 missions or so before we're actually able to uh, 
unlock that slot, which is excellent. I am going to go ahead and purchase that. I'm trying to decide how much I want the roof cleaners. They're just not very good. Yeah, I just don't want them enough. Okay, folks, well, we'll see you next time when we actually go back to the adventure mode. We'll see you soon. Later, viewers. And remember, there's always room for Jello. Always. Always. Later.